If I said to you that you can make a website just once and get paid thousands of dollars every single month for it, would you do it? If the answer is yes, then you might want to keep watching. Four weeks ago, I released my first ever framer template and in those 30 days, it's generated over $2,000 in sales and with no paid ads and no huge audience. So in this video, I want to teach you step by step how you can do the same and go from building your very first framer template to making consistent sales every single month. The reason I'm making this video is because I know that there are so many of you out there who can make incredible websites using Framer. So I think that teaching you how to monetize that can be so valuable. And my entire goal with this YouTube channel is to provide you with as much value as I possibly can. So without further ado, my name's Hamza and let's get into it. Right, so before we go any further, throughout this video, I'm already assuming that you have a good understanding of Framer and that you've already built a few websites before. If you're completely new to Framer, then I suggest learning it first and practice building some websites before you get into your first template. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is mindset. Now, I know mindset is one of those things that you hear everywhere these days, but I did wanna to touch on it because I do think it's key. Now, with what I'm gonna show you, you can make thousands of dollars every single month, but selling framer templates or making money online in general is not easy. No matter what anyone tells you, like with most things, you're gonna need to put in work and show up every day. It's important that you mentally prepare yourself to be in this for the long haul. This isn't no get rich quick scheme. I'm teaching you how to build a sustainable business by building a brand and selling a digital product that will actually bring your customers value. The key to any successful business is to provide the best product or service to your customer that over delivers and brings them more value than they've paid for. This is what's going to make people keep coming back to you and really help you build a powerful brand and business. That takes me on to the second thing that I want to talk about, which is your personal brand. Now, branding is a whole topic in itself, but your personal brand is the key to you getting consistent sales. So here are two practical steps that you can take right now to start building your personal brand. The first thing I recommend you do is to sign up to Twitter if you're not already. When it comes to starting a personal brand, I think it's so important to start in one platform to begin with. I see too many people sign up to every platform out there, but then what happens is that they struggle to keep up with creating content for all of these different platforms, and then they end up getting overwhelmed, and then they end up giving up. So for now, I want you to only focus on Twitter. Twitter is an absolute goldmine when it comes to web design, and especially Framer. The Framer community is filled with amazing people and is growing every day. And importantly, your potential customers are flowing all around Twitter, so it's somewhere that you want to be actively engaging in. When it comes to Twitter, the easiest way to post consistent content around your template is to build in public. If you're not familiar with the concept of building in public, all it is is basically sharing the progress of you building your template. This not only helps you post more content, but also starts to build the hype for your upcoming template. As well as posting, you need to be engaging with others in the community every single day. Spend time genuinely responding to other people's posts and connecting with people. This will help grow your network fast. The second thing that you're going to need is a personal website. Having a personal website is essential because this is where you're going to be uploading your template and driving all of your traffic to. Your personal website doesn't need to be anything crazy. It could just be a simple landing page that tells a little bit about yourself, what you do, and will eventually be where you host your templates. So to recap, before you even get started with your template, start building your Twitter audience and get your personal website done. These two things are the foundations for your frame of template business. Now, let's talk about creating your template. Now, obviously I'm not gonna walk through the entire process of how to create a website on Framer, but here are the things that you need to be thinking about when creating your template. First thing is the niche for your template. Now, when it comes to your niche, you need to think outside of the box. Don't create a template that's already been done a hundred times before. Take some time to go out and find a niche that is in demand and people would actually want a template for. Now, when it comes to building your template, I want you to keep this one thing in mind throughout. Build something that you would use yourself. Like if you saw your template, would you look at it and think, wow, I'm gonna buy that. If you're going into your design with this mindset, it would genuinely help you build your best work. Another point I wanna make is that you don't necessarily have to create something from scratch. If you've previously built websites in Framer, there's nothing wrong with repurposing those for your template. That's actually what I did for my first template, Productize. Productize was just an iteration of a website that I'd previously built for my own web design agency. I had so many people asking me how I created my website, so I decided to turn it into my first template. 
Also, when building, you need to remember that you're building this website to be a template, meaning that your customers will be customizing your website for their own purposes. So you want to make it as easy as possible for them to edit. You have to bear in mind that your customers might not necessarily have the same amount of web design experience as you might. So make it as easy as possible for them. As for the technical side, I've created a free Notion template called the Framer Template Launcher that lists out all of the technical recommendations that I suggest your template follows before launching. So be sure to check that out. I've put a link in the description below. Now let's talk about selling your template. First thing that you're going to need to think about is pricing. How much are you going to sell your template for? And to be honest, there's no right or wrong answer here, but you just want to make sure that your template is a reasonable price for what it is. For example, if you've created a huge website with multiple pages and complex effects and say e-commerce functionality, then you can charge a higher price for your template upwards of say $100. Whereas if your template is a single landing page, then it might be fairer to charge something between $30 to $50. Just remember when pricing your template, you want to make sure that above all, the price is reasonable and it provides your customer with great value for money. Next, you're going to need to create beautiful eye-catching mockups that's going to help your template stand out from the rest. The best and easiest way to create incredible mockups absolutely free is with Shots.so. I've created a whole video about Shots and how you can create beautiful mockups in just a few minutes. So definitely check that out after you finish watching this video. Now, in terms of uploading your template, I recommend using Lemon Squeezy to host your template. They're a solid payment platform with really reasonable fees and importantly, they're supported by the Framer Marketplace, which we'll get onto in a sec. Once you've signed up to Lemon Squeezy to upload your template, just create a new product, enter the name, description and price of your template and add your images to media. Then under confirmation model and email receipt, add your template remix link to the button links. But speaking of remix links, this following step is crucial and without it, you'll be leaving hundreds of dollars on the table. So listen carefully. A lot of people make the mistake of not adding their affiliate tag to their template remix link and end up missing out on so much money. If you're not familiar, Framer has an amazing affiliate partner program where you can earn 50% of every subscription that you bring in. This means that every customer that buys your template and signs up to a paid plan with Framer, not only do you get that initial template sale, but you get 50% of their monthly subscription too. And this alone can bring in a few extra thousand dollars per month and will grow with every single template sale. So this is a must. All you need to do is sign up to become a Framer partner using the link in the description. Once you've been approved, you'll have a unique affiliate tag. All you need to do is add that affiliate tag to the end of your Remix link in the following format. And then every time your customer hits that Remix link, you'll be getting paid when they sign up. Once you've uploaded your template to Lemon Squeezy, upload it to your website too and link back to it using the Lemon Squeezy checkout link that you created earlier. Now that your template has been uploaded and is ready for purchase, now it's time to get it out there. The first thing that I suggest you do is to launch it to your Twitter audience that you've been growing. I suggest creating a post similar to this outlining the main benefits of your template and link back to your website so that people can go and purchase. Next, I suggest you submit your template to the Framer Template Marketplace. The Framer Marketplace is an incredible way to get template sales straight away. Most people looking for Framer templates come here, so if your template is listed here, you're almost guaranteed to get eyes onto your template. However, the caveat being that Framer has a really strict set of requirements that your template has to meet before it gets uploaded to their marketplace. I've created a checklist of these requirements in the free Notion template that I mentioned earlier. So be sure to check that out and ensure that your template meets all of the requirements before submitting. Once your template is ready, head over to the Framer submission link and submit your template. Framer usually takes a few days to review your template, but be patient and fingers crossed your template will be approved. And then you're gonna start making those first few sales. But remember, this is only the beginning. Do not fall into the trap of getting your template onto the Framer marketplace, getting a few sales and then just sitting back. If you want consistent sales every single month, then you need to be showing up every day and keep pushing your template. Try different things like giveaways, for example, where you give away a few copies of your template to anyone that retweets this tweet or something like that. Or another example is to run a holiday sale, like 50% off for Christmas or something. Just keep pushing, growing and networking and your sales will very quickly start to stack up. Oh, and another point that I want to make is that once you do start to get sales, you need to be providing incredible customer service. Respond to customer inquiries quickly and go above and beyond to make sure that your customers are 100% satisfied. And also don't be afraid to get feedback from your customers and constantly try to improve your template. If you do all of this, you're setting yourself up to absolutely kill it with Framer templates. From there, build more templates and rinse and repeat the process. The more templates you have, the more sales you're going to make. Now I know that was a lot of information, but I really hope it can help you and guide you on your journey to selling Framer templates. 
I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and if it brought you any value whatsoever I would really appreciate a like and a comment and if you're interested in more content just like this then please consider subscribing. Oh and feel free to hit me up on Twitter anytime if you have any questions but for now that's all from me and I'll see you in the next one.